you're wondering why we're standing like this. Welcome to Core Dynamics 2 Trainer Tips. Guess what I'm talking about? The tree, but not the yoga tree. That what you do in your workout. So we have the tree-like <laughs> figure who's still standing like that, who dressed conveniently in the color green of life, who's going to show you how to actually break down that of the tree. This is Nicole. I'm Elizabeth. Hi guys. If you haven't figured that one out from all our videos yet, we're here to help you figure this exercise out. So your feet are in the adjustable foot holder. <clears throat> and the next thing you're going to do is have someone take their right foot out. Now we break this down in the routine, but I want to break it down just again so you can just look at the compensations. I have people bring their knee all the way into their chest. If they come all the way in, that's, I perfectly want Nicole to show this, you're going to want to roll back some. So she comes back and that's because your hamstrings are pulling that rear end right underneath. So if you notice that the knee comes in and everyone kind of moves back, they're probably tight. So cue someone knee into chest, then let the knee drop away. Now drop away as far as it needs to drop <clears throat> to keep that torso, that breastbone lifted. That will help allow for nice expansion of the ribs with the breathing. So that's number one. Number two is when we go to extend this leg out, you'll see the extension toward the sky. That's where you might want to go eventually, but in the beginning, again, to accommodate for the hamstring, it's perfectly okay to extend toward the tower. Keep them in the position of success. They don't even have to get all the way extended. They can just extend a little bit. A lot of people have such tight hamstrings that their knee is still going to remain bent as they do this. So it's three times that they extend and bend the knee. The next section is the leg stays extended. Nicole will walk up towards the ankle. Now, if you find a lot of rounding and you feel like they're coming forward, if you want to demonstrate that, and you feel like the knee's really shaken and the leg, it just looks like this is this nice shake, shaking like a bacon. If you see that happening, then tell them, you know what, extend that leg up. Imagine your hands walking up and stay lifted in the torso. You can keep those, oh. you can keep the hands on the leg, and then here's the section. She's going to keep lifted in the chest, and she'll hinge back. As she hinges, there's be a point where she can't go any further. This is where the hands walk down the legs, and she rolls back onto her back, and now she's back into, onto her back, and she's ready to continue with the next phase of the exercise. Now, she can stay here and come all the way up, or you might add a flex and point of the foot just to help lengthen out and get a little bit more mobility through that ankle. Or you might say what we did in the video is where you walk up the leg, beautiful, and then you walk down the leg. You walk up, you walk down. Now I'll just stay right there because I'm going to keep her down. <laughs> we also added in the video a hamstring curl. That's typically not part of the tree on a reformer because this is a unique ability to have the glide board be able to come up and down and add that hamstring curl into the routine. Anytime someone goes into unilateral hamstring curl, it's a lot of effort. So that's when we tell people to go to incline level two, possibly three, because it's a lot of work. And if they're too high, you're gonna see this arch in the back. If they go into this movement pattern and they're unilateral, I like to have people bring their knee into their chest because that's going to passively position the spine into some lumbar flexion, which will help people avoid that tendency, especially with this exercise, to go into excessive lordosis of the spine or excessive anterior tilting. So that I like is to have the knee start within your chest. She'll do a hamstring curl up and then down, and then eventually she can work to where her legs in that tabletop position and that will require more control. Again, remember when you do the hamstring curl, feet just gently point down the floor and you just activate that back of the leg. All right, so moving on with that of the tree. So now on that third repetition where she's walking up, she can walk all the way up now. And when you come all the way up, it takes a lot of flexibility. So you have to probably cue to your participants, I'm gonna have her walk back, that she's gonna come up and walk to about right behind her knee. So she's gonna slowly roll up, let her knee bend, and let the knee dropping away from her rocker up to sitting. You're gonna to have to cue people with that, especially if they're a little deconditioned or they're new to the exercise or their abs are burnt out from doing a million other exercises. That will assist them to roll all the way up. So that's what you look for for the tree. Some other things when you start to do this exercise is that when you have that leg up in the air, is you start to see shifting of the pelvis. So as they kind of flex and extend the knee, you'll see kind of someone going rolling off to one side 
and rolling back. That's when you really want to say, keep your knee bent as you roll back. And that will help them allow a little bit more stabilization through the spine. And then you're going to come back up. One last fun little tweak you can add onto this, which I love, is that you can add a rotation component. So Nicole gets to roll back one more time. Her leg goes in the air. So I'm going to have her go up and down. We'll pretend it's been three times. And this time when she comes up, she'll take her hand, her outside hand, reach it for the outside, and she lets the leg drop away and she reaches back Ta -da, to the camera. And then she comes slowly, can come back, and then place the foot onto the ground. So that's a nice little twist add, nice rotation of the spine. People like that kind of stuff. So add it into your program. But hopefully that helps you with the tree. You might not be familiar with it, but now you are. And hope it gets you rooted into what you need to do.